Okay, Shauna, now we're going to go ahead and show you a couple of the components. So go ahead and get back in, sign back in to the back end where you get to the control panel here, and we're gonna I'm gonna show you how to use the gallery. Zoom Gallery is the name of the gallery that you have on the website. And we're gonna just go ahead and click on it to get to its control panel. Here you can add categories. As you'll see, I think we just have the one, the miscellaneous, but you can add other categories there that you that you like. And then we'll look in the picture manager. This will show you the pictures that are already in the folders that are already loaded. So here you can change titles, you can delete a picture, you can unpublish a picture if you want to. Uh, the only other area that you would need would obviously be the picture upload area. This is where you can load, what is it, two, four, six, eight, ten photos at a time. And you can uh, load them to a specific category. Right now there's only the ones miscellaneous. Um, but you just click here and it goes directly to your hard drive. So again, you would just click on the image and it already puts it there. You pick the category and I usually put a generic title to start because I'm usually loading up a large group of uh, photos to an album so I'll call it miscellaneous or I'll call it generic or something like that and then you can go in and change the title in the picture manager once you've loaded it so after you add a generic title then you would just click upload and it would upload it to that particular uh, category file and then it would be on your gallery so it's very very simple now I'll show you quickly We'll go to this time. Another easy one to show you would be the JCal Pro, it would be the calendar. This is very simple as well. You go in and you'll want to possibly, let's say, create another category. Right now you have a general category, but maybe you're going to have um, concerts or a tour, and you could make that a category. And you would just click this new button and then you can name it, give it a description, and then you can choose a color for it. And then you would hit save. Once you've done that, then you can start entering your events that belong in that category. As you can see, I've posted some of them on there already. And this is very simple too, Shauna. You just hit add. And you give it a title. And right now you only have one calendar, which I suggest just leave it one calendar. Um, and, you know, just make separate categories within the calendar. It's just easier. Um, you have your general calendar and general category. You can give the, the event a description. You set the start time and date. And then if it doesn't repeat, just make sure that stays there. If it's something that does repeat, like maybe you're doing it, maybe you're going to be appearing at a um, bar uh, monthly on the first Friday, you can set that there. And you can make sure that you change it to repeat until whatever day it ends. And you can click through the months like that. It's, it's pretty self-explanatory. And then once you've done all that, then you would, if you want it to be published, you would keep it to yes, and then you would hit save. And then it would appear on the calendar for you. And it would appear on upcoming events. And as of right now, I have your upcoming events not activated because we've got the video in there, so don't be alarmed. Okay, I think that's enough for that video, and I will come back and I will do a video for you on the uh, music section.